Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Snowball giving you yet another snowcast, and this is game four in the best of five series between Moonglade and Liquid Huck. So we've got Moonglade over here on the left hand side as the Zerg player in the purple, and over here on the right hand side we've got Huck, and as you can see these two players are doing quite well against each other. If you haven't watched the other games, I suggest you go watch them. They are all fantastic games, and they have been a pleasure so far. We'll just have to see what goes on next. So over here we see uh, Moonglade doing the uh, normal bringing the Overlord over to the bottom side. Now this is what most people like to do. They just bring their Overlord down here and scout it out. Uh, if Huck was down here, he could pop a probe over here. I'd, I wouldn't be surprised to see him pop a probe over here soon enough just to check if he is in the cross positions. But that's a really good strategy to do. And it looks like he's not going to opt to do that at all. So he does not know where his Zerg opponent is. The Zerg turns out he does not find the Protoss player. They are in cross positions. So it looks like this game is going to be a bit of a longer game probably because of the cross positions. It is a lot more difficult to put on the pressure because in Lost Temple it's very unique. Either you have a close by ground position as you can see right there or you can have a close by air position if you're just straight across here like where this overlord went from Moonglades. So the this map changes a lot depending on what your starting position is. And as you can see, they're on cross positions, and we do see the extractor going down before the pool. So there will be some early speedlings coming out by Moonglade. And we'll see uh, what Hug does for this. He probably won't really do too much to counter it. He'll just put his cybernetics core about right here. And then from there, just put his zealot to complete the wall off and stop any early pressure from going down. Now Moonglade is sending down his scout. Huck is just chilling right here he's going to try and stop the expansion when it comes around so we'll see uh, how successful he is, at, he is at doing this and this is actually a really nice thing to do if you're a Protoss player just go ahead patrol this dude right here when the drone comes down to start to build the expansion just walk it around a little bit and when you have to leave you can build a pylon and then cancel it or you can build a pylon and keep it going and have it finish and that forces the Zerg player to pull drones off his line and make more Zerglings than he wants to early on. It's a nice way to just get a little advantage early on if you want to delay the expansion. So we've got the Cybernetics Core going down by Huck and a second Assimilator going down. So it looks like he's going to go into a teching build. Uh, Metabolic Boost has been started for the Speedlings. We have a Queen almost finished. So we will have a game going on here. All right. Sweet. Uh, we do have a Chrono Boost. Uh, there we go. The Warp Gate tech is being researched and Chrono Boosted, so it looks like we may see some form of early, early gateway play. And a drone managed to slip into the base. I don't know if Huck actually knows about this drone right now, so it's just going to hang out right there. Moonglade is just chilling in the corner. He's going to pop in later and get a free scout with this drone, so nice play, nice play. Uh, we got the Zerglings are starting to nibble on at the rocks over here, so... He's planning on taking a third eventually, but these Zerglings don't really serve too much of a purpose right now. They're just uh, going on and uh, nibbling at the rocks, trying to whittle it down as much as they can so that when he's ready to take third base, the rocks will already be gone. So I'm planning for a very long macro game. Like I said, the cross positions definitely make that a huge possibility on most maps. The one thing that can change it, though, is the warp gate research by Protoss players. If they want to, they can just lay, you know, lay a nice proxy pylon, usually somewhere around the watchtower over here, and they can literally cut down any form of rush distance to zero because they can just warp in new units wherever they have pylon power. So that's one thing that Protoss players can do on cross position maps to totally change the game for long rush positions. And now we see a Nexus going down by Huck. Nice play, nice play. He does, uh, he does know about the expansion by Moonglade, so he's just going to drop an expansion. And we do have a lot of Zerglings coming out, so we'll see what these Zerglings are actually going to do. Let's go ahead and check this out. They're going to go run into the base, and they get a surround on the sentries, but the sentries are laying down force fields. The, these, these sentries are actually blocked completely by force fields, so they cannot get hurt right now. They're just zapping away at the Zerglings. Amazing play by Huck with those four force fields to trap his own sentries inside of the base. So now we've just got two speedlings left from that entire thing. Huck manages to save most of his sentries, which is amazing because now he's got these six sentries. He lost a couple of zealots, but he really didn't lose that much because 
And if we look at the units lost tab, you can see that Moonglade ended up losing 550 resources, where Puck only ended up losing 300. So he just ended up losing, it looks like, three zealots, and that's it. So there you go. Amazing force fields by Huck. Now, the force fields will make it so he can't put on early any early aggression, but I don't think he's looking to, considering his expansion is just about done. So we've got Moonglade. He made more Zerglings, and he's almost done with the rock, so he will be ready to take a third whenever he wants to. But I'm still trying to get over that amazing play by Huck, keeping all of his sentries alive with the amazing, amazing force fields. So great play by Huck. So we've got the ever awesome creep spread going on by Moonglade. Creep spread essential, especially with these spine crawlers. The spine crawlers are good for the defense. We, looks like we have a third and a fourth going on. Huck's got his uh, sentry army, which these speedlings actually run by, and it looks like they're going to do a flank on him. So we've got the speedlings coming around from the back, and we've got the spine crawlers in the front. Now he's going to be able to take out this overlord, but I don't know how much damage he's going to be able to do Huck is going to be able to do right here because we do have these four spine crawlers just about finished and it looks like this will finish just in time for Huck to back away. Huck's little poke right here was actually really good. I don't think there will be any encounters, but the little poke right there forced Moonglade to make four spine crawlers and basically go on the defensive and as a Zerg player, every single time you spend a larva on something other than a drone is a little hurt in, in economy. So forcing him to make all of these spine crawlers looks like he has six spine crawlers going down. So if I was to guess, it looks like he's going into mutilisk play from here. We'll have to see, but usually a lot of spine crawlers at the front means that they're just going very low on the attacking units and they're going to go for a mutilisk harass later on. So, and also he's got four gas geysers. So here we go, a little attack. We've got he stopped the two new creep tumors from being formed. Hallucination has just finished research, and now plus one attack is being researched by Huck, as well as plus one ground attack. So we've got the air attacks and the ground attacks going down. Huck is moving away, but he's just using his phoenixes to go ahead and get a scout of everything that's going on. He does see... Let's see, did he see this? He did not see the spire going down. So we do have a spire going down by Moonglade. Like I said, it's a pretty obvious solution is to go to Spire. We have Huck is taking out his rock, so he's looking to take a third base. This will be quite a long macro game. We don't really have haven't really had too many big encounters yet, and Moonglade is taking out the hallucination. He saw right there that it was a hallucination for sure, so no big worries right there. And we do have another Phoenix coming down. He's just scouting around, checking around, making sure that Moonglade hasn't taken another expansion. You know, he's going up here as well. Just trying to make sure that Moonglade is only on the two bases that Huck thinks he is. So, nice scouting for the extra bases. A two-basing Protoss player is quite powerful against a two-basing group. So, if anything, Huck wants to keep it this way. He's probably going to look into making this expansion soon. As you can see, Moonglade is already preparing for that by putting a Zergling there. So, he's giving the scout out. And whenever, when Huck sends a probe over this...